Hello, welcome to this live show. So today I'm going to uh, start uh, for uh, for an hour or so, just maybe a bit less because it's just before uh, lunchtime. So okay, so this is a scarab necklace I designed uh, tree design. A couple of uh, months ago and uh, I want to make the render and the entire scene in blender so um, I already exported it to blender here it is in blender I have first some um, some details to to prepare uh, uh, this carob can open its wings these wings with the pavé I can uh, can open so I was maybe thinking uh, about the small animation but we'll see okay anyway because I'm going to use Luke score because of the gems and this scarab has enamels on the wings and also on the inside we'll see that when i open the wings and there's quite uh, some gemstones there's a pearl there's some opal and uh, some peridot some garnet um, I designed it uh, with different materials, uh, you can see the different colors to help separate the elements. Uh, it's going to be a bit easier to uh, to work, and it's already prepared, uh, obviously for uh, for making the jewel into real life. As you can see, it's already hollowed on the back. And you check uh, small details, like I was saying, like the this must be cut cut out, obviously. Uh, these cylinders, are uh, green cylinders, are right there because I need to cut. Well, I'm going to hide them to show why. Uh, these, um, well, the chain behind these stones. So. Well, first I'm going to save the file, obviously. Okay. 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 So, um, well, actually, let's uh, let's do that boolean first. Okay. So, I'm using Blender 2.92, and uh, that means that we can use the new boolean way which is the fast calculation which works generally very cleanly and is faster than the exact which is the old way okay this is done that's not much uh there's one here okay let's go there this one i'm just going to cut from the back Here, so well, I just can compress. I can compress maybe this part. Let's have it try. Ah, uh, and I'm going to turn on, you know, the screencast. Uh, people are fan fans of the screencast and. Um, also, let me see if okay. So um, I was just okay. Screencast is on. Yes, it is. Very good. So now uh, on the bottom left, you have the the, the keyboard entries and mouse entries 
if you don't know the software that well okay let's grab this let's go here I think it's going to be you just need to hide this inside that okay that's pretty good Uh, this is one detail um, I'm going to have a look at Is that the only Okay Okay, now I'm going to start with the materials. So I'm going to go with look score. Uh, I'm going to set already this at pretty high numbers here. Light tracing, I'm going to keep it for later. The noiser, the more memory you have, the more, the higher you put this number, the faster the, the noiser works. I'm going to put the color management at very high contrast and uh, the light strategy. Well, see, it's 77. That's just because it's a personal preference. And the light strategy here, I prefer the power light strategy. Okay, so we're going to go uh, with the shading. Oh, shading. Um, we're going to go to. So I think I'm going to make. Okay, first I'm just going to make a, a gray. A gray uh, render, because uh, that shows the model better so I just want a just going to make it plain and um, so I'm going to work for um, for a while now live uh, today I'm going to make it live uh, the live sessions have worked uh, really well uh, so I'm going to do way more live sessions. Okay, we have this. This is going to be just the floor. Sometimes I do put correct names to, to things in, in, in Blender. Okay, so we, we have this. Uh, just want a very simple render. So this is the sky environment making. I'm going to maybe put a higher this is a bit too much. Let's go to 07. Let's go to 45. This is pretty good. Um, okay, I'm going to put the camera at. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's go to camera. Let's uh, check the clip end. All right. Now, I think I'm going to flip the resolution vertical for a second. Now, this got to move uh, a bit lower here and this. So this would be just a general view. Okay, what I need to check quickly is if the gemstones okay the blue means that they have sharp edges that's good that's what I want for now uh, but let me check also for duplicates by distance because I'm yeah there's there's going to be a lot of duplicates because the way I imported the file so let's go do that first I'm going to select everybody because now in Blender we can use uh, all the objects and go to edit mode at the same time. Well, it's been for a while now, uh, since two, version 2.8. Uh, so let me select everybody and uh, do a merge by distance. This is to avoid duplicates. I'm going to have 
hundreds, thousands uh, of hundreds of duplicates because when you import, well, from some softwares, when you import an object into Blender, for some weird reasons, uh, all the vertices get uh, doubled. So one of the first things you want to do when you, you set up a scene in Blender importing objects from other softwares is to check that you don't have um, overlapping vertices. Okay, so uh, let me check something else. Yes, all right. Good. Um, so now I just want to make, well, let's go and make a quick uh, gray render as reference. Oh, it needs to load the. Well, it's going to load the the, the kernels for a couple of minutes. Generally, it takes uh, five minutes, uh, but that's weird because I used LuxCore a couple of days ago, so I thought it was good, good to go. But well, anyway, in the meanwhile, I can't really. Uh, well, well, but I, what I can do, and let's go do that, is that. I can, I'm going to go check for some references. And uh, because I haven't, I think I want some kind of dirt uh, floor or wooden floor or stone floor. Maybe sand, maybe some plants, but the problem is that, yeah, something like this. This is a bit simple, but I think it's going to look good. So, okay, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, while it's loading the kernels for Luke score, I'm just going to have a look at some ideas about the scarab in nature. There's some moss, but the problem is that um yeah i don't know if i'm going to do some plants or not because plants is more work obviously it's a bit slower than just a simple background i was thinking maybe just sand and some rocks like this which is pretty light it's pretty neat ah, i have an idea yeah i should do that and then maybe add some plants some rocks okay i know so obviously what i'm going to do won't be over uh just now obviously it's going to be a couple of hours to to get the entire scene because obviously for that type of tool uh, this is uh, a more artistic creation uh, type of jewelry, so I'm going to uh, create a nice scene for this jewel. It was made for that. Um, like I already said, it has enamels, uh, various type of gemstones. Uh, it's made. It's going to be made in gold. It has a custom chain and. Uh, so obviously this is not a cheap jewel so it requires a very good looking render or like i said maybe even an, um, the animation because the wings open uh, and on the inside the scarab has enamels also um are we still loading yeah I'm still loading <laughs> Okay, um, in the meal, or yeah. so some people prefer um, clean backgrounds. And last week, or no, this week, like a couple, a couple of days ago, I made a I made a new design. Which design was it? Yeah, I made. No, where is? Okay. Well, I made a jewel with 
a very simple background for a quick render. Like it was, uh, was with like date. Nope. Ah, okay, it should be this one. Where? Okay, this one. So I made this render um, a couple of days ago. I used Luke's core, and uh, something very funny happened because uh, someone told me that this is too simple. That the design is nice, that the materials are not so nice, which is very ar arguable, and uh, that I should work more on the environment. And uh, obviously I didn't uh, n knew what to answer because it's really like people don't know that most of the time I work the renders a lot like this one, uh, which uh, got features uh, a couple of times. Uh, in a, this one has all you want. It has particles, it has smoke, it has uh, plants. I sculpted a small shrine and generally people know that I especially and more than a lot of other uh, jewelry designers and jewelers even uh, very heavy brands uh, don't take so much time creating their renders so that's why also my work has been growing uh, around the world because people are noticing that i'm um okay there's it's rendering now Okay, so this is just the gray view, uh, but I need to wait. Let's escape this uh, for a second. I need to hide. Let's go back to the render. Okay, so, uh, well, anyway, the, the thing is that um, it makes me laugh when, when people uh, say that uh, I don't work enough uh, on, on my creations. It's exactly the opposite. And I answered that it's not my fault that people are ignorant about my entire work. I've been an independent artist for the last 20 years and I've made so many, so many things over 20 years. I've been working nonstop as a painter, as a jeweler, as a teacher and as a jewelry designer. I have designed thousands and thousands of jewels. I've mass produced thousands and thousands of jewels. I've teached to thousands of people uh, and uh, well anyway but you people you know that uh, people who, who know me or follow me for have been following me for the last couple of years normally they know that we're making something uh, out outstanding okay so I just need to remove this and let's go back to the render so first I just want a general a general gray view to uh, well I need to start somewhere before I start making some uh, choices about the composition and the materials and the light uh, and also to check some well that the general meshes are clean and that everything is uh, all right. Okay, that's pretty nice. The only thing I don't like here now is that I'm too far away. I'm going to put the camera a bit closer and maybe, okay, let's go to the camera. So camera view, let's have a look at um, orthographic and um, let's pull back a bit. Maybe here. Now let's move the camera a bit lower on Z. Okay, here. Now the resolution. Um, I think I like a wider view. I like a wider view. Um, and. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go 
with something more like this all right let's start answering some comments <laughs> okay so um and let's go back to the camera a bit. Uh, back here. Okay, not even. And let's move it a bit. Okay. So general grade view. So I'm going to be designing for a uh, for a moment. Uh, uh, just to start, then I'm going to go and, and and grab something to eat. Obviously, I'm not going out because, like in many countries in the world, everything is closed because of the pandemic. Uh, I I think that many people know that. So um, I'm going, I'm not going to go out. Um, and uh but ju i just need to eat something because then i'm going to work uh i'm going to come back uh and also because i, I want to enjoy the sun uh for a couple of hours before the nights well because the, the night falls uh pretty early these days and uh now that it's sunny outside i'd like to be outside and enjoy the sun uh, as long as i can it's uh, generally until sunset is about 6, 6 p.m. here in Mexico City. And now it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon here in Mexico City. So I'm going to design. Now it's the, the sun is too strong now. Uh, so that's why I decided to start already uh, this design um, before going um, outside. Uh, well, outside, uh, well, anyway. I'm going to go to a thousand samples. This is pretty quick. Uh, this is LookScore version 2.5, uh, which uses a lot of the, well, it's going to use all the GPUs you have. It's where it, now it's getting optimized more and more for GPUs and that's a good news. Okay, let's escape this. Let's go and save the denoised view. Uh, okay, this is the denoised view. It's a general view and it's pretty good uh, as a reference. So let's save this image. Uh, and um, let's call it just gray view, gray view, gray, gray one. Okay, uh, what? Gray, gray, there we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with the floor. So I'm going to make a type of, um, like it was checking, like a type of uh, rock, uh, because I think I have some pretty pictures of uh, rocks. Okay, so first I'm just going to make, um, Eight times, let's go at nine times. Now let's go at 10 times for more details. But first I'm going to make the details and the displacement here. That's something I do quite often, people know that. Uh, basically I'm going to, to make the displacement with a new texture here. Obviously I need to find an image so uh, it should be around here and I'm going to filter this by date to check the new one so uh, this one is pretty nice uh, thing is also I need some oh that one is pretty good okay I want to try this one first Okay, now I don't know if uh, the size is accurate, so I'm going to bring a cube. You know, you need to bring a cube there. I'm going to put it at a very specific size. Now the cube, I'm going to bring to the same size that the thing I want to 
this place and put it exactly in the same place you can go to the back <laughs> that displacement is way way too strong okay but now I'm going to do it from the object and the object is the cube okay obviously I need to rotate the cubes okay now we can see that the orientation is correct obviously the the strength is still not that correct and uh, obviously I'm going to go to smooth the resolution is pretty good because it's still pretty fast obviously afterwards I'm going to decimate that but um, the other thing okay before I put in the displacement I'm going to go to sculpt mode I'm going to uh, make the floor a bit uneven okay uh, because also it's part of um, our job to make things not so flat and not so boring so I'm going to uh, make a very quick uneven uh, I think I'm going to go maybe a bit higher on these parts let's have the, cam uh, the camera look here obviously I'm, uh, I will make several views of uh, this jewel and uh, I'm not using the, the dynamic topology because the floor already has quite enough uh, subdivisions so I don't want to change too much the topology of the floor I just want to want it to be non-flat and I'm going to uh, bring also a brush with another texture to make yeah because if you don't use the, the displacement map what you can do is simply sculpt and simply well simply <laughs> it's a uh, way of speaking we can sculpt the entire all the details Generally, I do prefer sculpting the details. Uh, I love I love sculpting, especially in Blender, because they also made a lot of progress with the sculpting tool in, inside Blender. And because we can add the details with more control than... Um, than with the displacement uh, nodes or displacement modifiers okay and I'm I'm working on the entire background not just the zone where I have the camera set because uh, when I'm going to start rotating the camera I'm going to see further away than uh, the small zone that I have right now set for the camera. The front view is a very boring view. That's not the goal. The main goal is a more angular, attractive view. And uh, I'm going to, to take that into account. That's why I'm sculpting the entire place. So now I'm sculpting without uh, a brush, and, but then I'm going to use uh, textures on the brush. At least one, but I think I might be using uh, more than one brush. So this is just to make, uh, like I said, this is really just to make the zone uneven because the floor is going to be uh, a type of rock uh, and I'm going to add then I guess a couple of uh, vegetation plants which I'm going to model 
uh, many people tell me to uh, to use add-ons and things like that there's an add-on that it's already part of uh, the standard blender it's the IV the IV uh, to create uh, well IV type of vegetation sometimes I do use it maybe today I will we'll see about that okay so I'm just sculpting with add and remove this is very simple but it's very efficient and um, it's it's working kind of nice for now and this is without texture for now okay so from from here I'm going to add a new or I'm going to use the same texture I have for the displacement map and I'm going to work from okay so now I have a texture on the on the brush but I think I'm going to put more strength here and I'm going to keep uh, adding and removing maybe first from further away so like I already said I don't have dynamic topology okay the only bad thing this this brush has uh lines on the sides which i need to take care of but that's going to be very nice uh, like i say in many videos uh, in jewelry we need to work a lot more on the details because we're making macro photog photography it's not the same as uh, architecture visualization because we are uh making renders of things that are way smaller in real life and uh, generally we need a close view of the jewel because from far away simply it won't well it simply it won't um it won't look good because we won't be able to enjoy all, all the details that that jewel has and that makes the jewelry uh, renders in photography especially hard to create and also well and that was uh, what I was talking about uh, with um, the other render that um, Uh, with this render that somebody said this is way too uh, dull and way too boring and uh, you should work a lot more on your renders because the only thing that looks good here is the caustics but that's because LuxCore makes very good caustics that's what he said <laughs> obviously well uh, that's when people don't know my uh, all I have done in the jewelry field and like I say that's not my problem anymore that's why I stopped teaching I'm because of that type of people but because that's the main behavior um, that's one of the main behavior people just don't know uh, what you've done in your entire life how many things you've created that are sold or if you're a professional or not I've been living from jewelry uh, over the past 20 years and why because I've been working a lot and I've been working very uh, well with a lot of dedication so uh, what I want is that I want to put random for this guy because the texture I needed to rack and random and let's go with this Okay, that's a bit better. Ah, wait a second, I need to remove the rack. Okay, perfect, perfect. So anyway, here we are creating an, an environment for that wonderful uh, high jewelry scarab that, uh, ah, and also because well, many people uh, making renders in the, in the uh, jewelry field around the world, 
be it in 3D or be it uh, uh, drawing uh, with traditional gouache and making 3D render by hand uh, using uh, that I also do. Uh, I keep painting jewelry. I've been uh, making uh, expositions uh, uh, with my drawings and I've been selling drawings and, and all that you can imagine. So it doesn't matter the technology. Um, there's many things I have already done. Uh, and also I, I, I started uh, as a professional artist, I started in the year uh, in 98, in 98, that's uh, 22 years ago. Uh, I started painting and um, it took me two years. Uh, in the year 2000, I was already living from my paintings. So, uh, well, people, obviously many people don't know about that, but that's very funny because if you go to Google and Google just, just Google my name, you're going to find very fast and it's very easy to find that, uh, well, this is one of my paintings. You, you are going to find a couple of paintings that are still available on the web and, uh, so if you do a very quick research on and you're also going to find some uh, jewels I've made and not only 3D stuff. So, um, well, anyway. So now I'm sculpting with the brush and after the brush, I still uh, I'm still going to add uh, the displacement map over the brush and then I will very probably also sculpt uh, more details here and there. But, yeah, that's pretty good. I need to remove some here. And that's to make uh, an interesting background for the jewel. So sometimes I like creating very elaborated scenes, uh, be it for an animation, be it for a still image. And, um, and sometimes I just want a plain gray floor, black floor, or white floor, or colored floor, blue floor, red floor, metallic red, any type or very sim simplistic uh, render. And uh, it's funny because anyway, people are going to uh, obviously, uh, well, no, no. So that render got criticized because of the very simple background. What the person who made the critic apparently didn't took into account is that um, this design, because I wanted the design, which is a uh, very swirly kind of design with very uh, intricate curves and spirals all over the jewel. I wanted the design to stand out, the design of the rings, okay? So I didn't want to put that specific design over a very complex background because most of the time, if you have a very complex looking jewel, it's not a very good idea to set it over a very complex background. That's very easy to show and very easy to understand. Let's say if I would have used um, maybe a type of fabric with also swirls and spirals on the background, that would be, let's say that way, that would have been a very stupid idea. And people who, who actually design jewelry and make jewelry photography and jewelry design, we all know that. That's why the most favorite background for jewelry is a white plain background, which is not even easy to achieve. So what I wanted with that design was a very plain, simple background 
and to make the, the design stand out and make <laughs> the caustic stand out. The, all the small sparkles uh, projected from the gold and from the design are very interesting, at least interesting. You might not like it. You might not like all these sparks of lights and some are colored sparks uh, of the caustics on the floor. But that was exactly the goal I wanted to achieve with that render. There was absolutely no mistake uh, on the artistic choices I made and technical and profession professional choices I've made while creating this render. Uh, and actually saying that well, you should add some more stuff because this is too dull. You, you must show the world how to render jewelry. Well, actually, that's why we're here. And well, that's why. So today with the Scarab, I don't want a plain, simple background. I know this jewel also is quite intricate, but the design of the Scarab is very Rec uh, well, very easy to recognize the shape of the animal, of the insect, sorry, of the insect. And that, uh, that is that, that's something that uh, let us create a more natural environment for the insect uh, and not really the jewel. I'm making the background like this was a real scarab not a gold scarab with gemstones so today obviously it's very uh it would be very correct uh, with a design like this one a jewel like this one if i would be creating a very dull flat background not natural background uh, to set it just on a plain back background that would be very uh, quicker and easier to do obviously but that would be a bit uh, boring. That would be not, that would be a bit unattractive. So logically today we are going to create a very complex background. And actually the background is going to take maybe more time that it took to really design the actual jewel and even if this is a high jewelry design. And these are obvious reasons. Okay, let's add the, the, the displacement map. <laughs> okay, with the texture and obviously at 01, uh, now we're going to do 05. Okay, so now it's sculpted, but now this is too strong, uh, let's go 02. Okay, that's pretty good uh, to start because this is just to start. Okay, I have this. What I'm considering doing is that I am going to check. Okay, the topology is straight. It's the same grid as uh, done uh, before. I'm going to do one more level of subdivision. Uh, it's going to get a bit slower and now it's going to take uh, just a small moment to calculate this and we are going to okay but it's not too slow that's why this is uh, 11 steps of subdivisions from edit mode of just a simple plane okay that looks a bit that's very nice that's very nice with the displacement I'm going to just maybe to make it a bit okay so we can yeah now we have a type of sand rocky floor with pretty nice details okay I'm going to apply let's see if I can apply this one without too many problems Okay, I'm going to send it, I, I think, maybe only on the y-axis uh, to avoid... No, it was better. Okay, this one is better. It makes... Yeah, it's better. 
Okay, I'm going to apply this one here, apply the modifier. And um, and I want to see, many times I do apply one, two, three or more and then sculpt also a couple of details. Uh, let's bring in another, another texture. So let's go to new, let's go to textures. And let's uh, let's go find another another type. Ah, okay, this is great. Okay, let's use this, which is a type of rust. Uh, okay, okay, this is pretty good too. Uh, obviously, I need to go from also the object. Or not it's not always necessary okay now let's see if uh, okay let's hide per okay this is without this is with okay it's it's better but it's still too strong Okay, that's pretty nice too. Okay, let's apply it. And I'm going to keep sculpting. I'm going to keep sculpting. So I'm going to sculpt with another brush, with another texture for a brush. And the nice thing is that I don't need the dynamic topology in this occasion because the resolution of the floor is already very high. Okay, let's go with, uh, but I want to load another, another image with, let's, let's add another, uh, something with uh, more contrast. So it doesn't have to be necessary a, Uh, yeah, it can be any type of texture. I just want the image to affect the design of the floor. And uh, let's have a look. And also because some zones I want to to soften to make the texture vary. And well, that's what I was saying uh, earlier. We are working a lot on the environment of the jewel. The design of the jewel is ready. What needs to be done and also is going to take a lot of time are the materials for the jewel, the gemstones and the gold, the gold textures for that type of jewelry takes more time because obviously I just, I won't be using just a plain yellow gold texture on this jewel it has too many gemstones it has enamels colored enamels on the wings on the inside behind the pavé um, it has enamels also so i'm going to take a couple of hours on the materials for that jewel uh, but like already said also that type of jewel deserve, they deserve a very special work to make um, to make it make it uh, stand out. We want this to stand out. in a special manner so it deserve a special uh, 3d work and like i was saying uh in fact around the world and i've seen uh, great brands like cartier by instance uh they they make real movies they but they use real cinema cartier by example makes short movies very impressive movies obviously with a lot of cg effects but 
they're not making uh, that much 3D for their uh, PR uh, and publicity material. They don't have to, they have, uh, and th they work with very famous uh, directors and they really create, generally for all the perfumes, the jewelry, uh, they're not working everything with CG. That's not their goal. That's not something they, they seem to need at all. So um, I tend to do a lot more uh, 3D uh, work, everything 3D, because I can't work uh, yet with uh, so famous uh, directors. But, well, I said that, but saying that, I said maybe I just could. You know, maybe I just could, maybe I just should, but yeah. Okay, so the floor is starting to look uh, quite interesting. Uh, and well, I had to start somewhere. I think I'm just going to start quickly with the material for the floor and then I'm going to stop uh, this live session for today uh, well this live session uh, like I said I, I'm going to go uh, uh, prepare uh, something to eat I'm going to eat uh, and relax for a couple of hours and then um, I'll be back later when the Sun is gone uh, at night at nightfall at night time uh, to, to work on this design obviously I won't finish it today I won't finish it uh, in two or four hours this is generally a 10 hour or so but like like you know uh, for me uh, time is generally not the issue my clients they want uh, or I want quality most of my clients uh, generally come to me and they say you know what time is not an issue we just want something outstanding so it's more about creating something very unique and very well made then hurry and uh, make like many uh, channels about 3D. Uh, there's a there's a big tendency on, on on YouTube. No matter the software, no matter and and just not. Uh, well, it's it's the tendency to make. Let's create a blah blah. blah let's create a jewel in two minutes. Uh, and I was like, who cares about creating a jewel in two minutes, five minutes or 10 minutes. Like if making things faster uh, makes you more professional. Yeah, a good professional is faster than a beginner. That's obvious. But it's like, let's let's paint. Let's let's make a, a very good looking painting in 30 seconds. That's the tendency all over the world. You can see that on the internet, but like if making things faster would be making things better. I think that is absolutely and totally stupid. And when they say, no, dude, you, you say that time is, is not the issue because you're very slow, man. You're too slow. I, I will never hire you. You're way too slow. But then I say, okay, so making things faster is being better? Is being really a, more professional? Okay, so what about making love? What about making love? Making love faster is making love better? Are you people stupid? And then they have nothing left to say because that's it. It's not about speed. 
If it was about speed, then making love faster would be better. Uh, excuse me, sir. When I make love, I want to do it the right way. And I, I don't want to be done in like two minutes. Just ask any girl. If you're done two minutes in bed, you're a fucking idiot. And you just, you're not just good at it. That's so obvious. Designing is like making love. Duh. I, I don't know what's what's wrong with people in speed. I don't know. Well, I guess they're just becoming moronic by the minute. No, it's not about speed. Let's create a design in five minutes. Let's make this in five minutes. Who cares? I have the entire uh, the entire life to make something good, to make th something worth it. So there I'm sculpting the floor and I, I'm just enjoying myself sculpting. Who cares if I've made the floor in two minutes, in 30 seconds, in one second? Who cares? It won't, be, it won't make me less professional if I suddenly took 20 hours to make the floor. Maybe, okay, so sometimes if you have a deadline, all right, but also ask yourself if you have so much deadline, then maybe something is wrong somewhere else. Uh, I've said that also many times. <laughs> That's a bug there. That zone just got messed up way too quickly. Okay, but we're done with the floor for now. Maybe just a couple of here and there. And I think I'm going to put, yeah, let's put another uh, displacement map. And I just beginning with the floor. I don't even know if it's correct because after that, with the lights, uh, with the lights on and all the illumination. Okay, let's go with um, this texture. Let's do it here. Let's do object just to keep. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's, well, that was pretty good. Let me see if uh, using the cube makes it better. Okay, so for a sand, sandstone floor, this is pretty nice. Let's apply this modifier. So quickly before I go uh, eat, I'm going to start a bit with the with uh, the material uh, for the floor. So okay, and also I mean I'm I am going to to use the sky first. I'm just going to use a sky illumination. Okay, let's go to uh, all right. Let's go to a new material here. And I'm going to use the glossy shader. Glossy shader here. Now let's bring an image. Uh, well, at least one. I very might combine. I'm almost sure I'm going to combine several images. I don't know, we, we already have some images. Just uh, let me see. Can we see? Can we see the image here? Okay, this one. Uh, no, I think you use that one first. Ah, no, sorry. No, so I am going to load uh, another image for the floor. Uh, okay, I'm going to take this one first. And the question is, uh, the question is, where are you, texture? Ah. I had the cube selected, that's very funny. But uh, what's the name of this? Okay, this is going to be Rocky, Rocky Floor, Rocky Floor. All right, let's go with this. And uh, I'm going to hide the cube. Okay, there you go. So this one gets the Rocky Floor. There you go. He's applying the material. Okay. 
Uh, I might change already the illumination because the sky texture is making everything look blue and it's too blue. Okay, let's uh, see, let's find a nice HDR for this. I think I'm going to start with a kind of sunset. Yeah, maybe, maybe this. Okay, it's a bit better. So now the floor, uh, I'm not liking the floor at all. Ah, but uh, we need, uh, do we have this mood? <laughs> this mood shader? Uh, yes, we do. Okay, so what I'm going to change, uh, but it's not too bad. Ah, no, it is. Um, okay, let's go here. I'm going to smooth the floor a bit more maybe 25 we'll change the z scale let's have a look with the smooth obviously um, well this is an option but uh, we're going to make it flatter like this that was 62 okay let's go back to shading option uh, okay so um, let's make, let's have a look. Okay, we need the bump map. So let's go uh, utility bump, plug this here. It goes to bump here and let's go at point one. Now, um, now we're gonna add the 2D mapping here and uh, let's have a look from the camera i'm not liking the floor let's say even a bit yet i, I mean no i don't like it yet mm, the thing is why 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 well obviously i'm here at least but maybe rougher and um mm -mm -mm. The colors are okay. I'm going to go to uh, UV editing because I think I want just the front projection uh, to avoid deformations of the texture on the floor. So let's go here. Let's make a project from view bounds and. Uh, Okay, let's see if that's enough for uh, avoiding those weird. And also, I'm going to I'm going to combine two images. Uh, yeah, I change it almost nothing. So it rather comes from the image. the The image is not so good. I'm going to see a couple of things. So, um, it's that one. Let's go to, ah, okay, this one. Let's go to this one. Okay, the image was the problem. <laughs> That's already a bit better. But now we need a stronger bump. So how strong is the bump now? Okay, well, also I'm going to use is that we're going to smooth out the floor a bit and uh, it's going to be uh, all for, for this session because I need to go and eat something and relax uh, a moment and uh, I'll be back today, I'll be back later. Uh, not everybody is... Uh, busy with Christmas um, many many of my followers actually are not Catholic at all uh, many are Muslims um, so obviously for many people uh, around the globe today is a very normal day it's not a festivity day so Okay, okay, what do we have here? Let's have a look closer. 
Okay, it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to combine really quickly. I'm going to combine uh, the. It's pretty nice because the gold is going to. What I want is that the gold stand stands out from the background. Um, but I'm going to combine two images. So I'm going to bring a an RGB mix. Where are you here in uh, RGB? Combine RGBs. So, I oh, no, sorry, it's not that one. <laughs> it's not this guy. Uh, RGB. I oh, no. I need a mix. Uh, but it should be combined RGB. But this. That's weird. So I'm going to make a mix. The mixer in Luxcore combines uh, materials. So I'm going to create another set uh, of the exact same material. I'm going to put uh, some sand, some sand around here. Okay, maybe that one. Or maybe, um, or maybe this for the color. Okay, let's go with this one. Now I'm going to. Um, so, like I was saying, uh, the mix only combines materials. So I need two. Well, I need two materials. I'm going to combine the same uh, type of material. Bump also here the same UV map uh, in this occasion. Here we need that, but there, and we're going to combine here. And we're just going to make okay, that's starting to be quite interesting. And I'm going to make the combination well, at first, the factor is just 50%, mix factor 0.5. That's half and half. And let's have a look at that's hundred percent. That's one of the materials. Zero percent is the other material, which looks kind of good. And we are going to, but maybe I'm going to mix it using. Uh, sometimes we use a texture. We, we can use a texture to make the the mixing not so uh, just 50 50 percent overlap so let's have a look uh, the Musgrave is pretty good for mixing factors here let's go there and but before I do that I'm going to create To, to have a clear look at my at my mixer, I'm going to use the Musgrave on a material as a texture. Okay, that's that's the effect of the Musgrave texture. We see the grains is the grain is very small. That's not what I want. I want zones of materials to be mixed over the floor but I want bigger zones um, and maybe 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 okay contrast I want more contrast I guess and um, yes that might work so we're gonna check now that the mixing is done uh not in a too okay this is too sharp i have too much too much contrast now sometimes it works well sometimes it doesn't give the, the wanted results uh now it's uh, my material types are too different let's try to load something more like a type of sand on this one i have some sand somewhere uh, or another type of rock luckily I do have a lot of pictures and so people ask uh, where do you get these so these are my this is my 
personal library because I take a lot of pictures when I go out. Okay, this is a type of sand. Uh, okay, but I don't like the the uneven mixer, so I'm going to make a very normal mix. Okay, let's have a look. This is material one, this is material two, and this is the mix. Um, what we could do is that the bump, this one is at one, we can do the bump stronger. And at the end, we can also put another bump. And let me put another image. Let's put another image. Uh, well, the, the UV is the same UV map. Right here. If you check the mix, uh, the mix material uh, in LuxCore, we can have a bump, uh, which is pretty nice because you can have a special bump here. And that let it's going to let me make a slight variation on uh, the material using still another another type of uh, floor or image for the floor. Let's try maybe uh, let's try this one. Okay, at two, let's go to one. Okay, for now it's pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to end uh, this session for now uh, thanks for uh, following me uh, I'll be back in uh, two or three hours I'm going to keep working on this carrot today I'm going to do uh, all the necessary live sessions uh, for this uh, for this jewel um, until we get a complete render and I will make a small animation because uh, the wings of this scarab, the one with the pavé, they do open and reveal the animal on the inside. And I want to animate that. So anyway, thanks for um, being with me. Uh, I, see, uh, I will see you later. So I said like in two or three hours, uh, I'll be back. Uh, working on the render of this high jewelry scarab uh, that I designed a couple of uh, weeks back, a couple of months back, I think. Okay, so um, that's it for now. Thanks for following me, subscribing and becoming members and see you soon.